Hey, Jeremy Kaplan from Digital Trends. We're here at a special Microsoft event, the unveiling of the uh, Windows Creators update. And along with it, Microsoft had a little surprise for us. This is the brand new Surface Book 2. This is the first 15-inch product in the Surface Book line. And in fact, Microsoft says it's the first 15-inch product in the Surface line in general. There have been 13-inch versions of this. Of course, there's the, the tablet, the two-in-one, and the studio. But this is the first 15-inch laptop, which is really a sweet spot for a lot of people. Now, if you look at it, it looks exactly like the earlier products. Uh, it, it's the same color. The screen looks the same. It's got a pen. The hinge looks the same. What's interesting, though, Microsoft says the entire thing has been redesigned. So from the exterior, it looks the same, and from the interior, the hardware has been completely rethought. Take, for example, the hinge here. I've always loved the hinge and the way it works on this product. It folds over and makes it look just like a little notebook or a book or a clipboard or something like that. Uh, for this 15-inch product, which is, of course, heavier, although Microsoft says it's the thinnest and lightest tablet on its own, uh, they had to rethink the entire hinge mechanism. And so they've redone the entire thing. And if you take a look down here, you can see this is the hinge mechanism itself. Up here, you can see we have the ports that connect into the hinge. Microsoft says they've rethought those things that are now part of this mechanism to enable to detach just a little bit quicker. Detaching the, the screen has always been kind of a slow part with this product. Not too slow, but just a little bit longer than you'd want it to. And by moving these ports, uh, making it functionally part of this hinge mechanism, Microsoft says it happens just a little bit faster. Which is great. Uh, that is a nice add for this thing. Uh, again, thinnest, lightest tablet that you can buy, in addition to being one of the most powerful laptops out there. Uh, it's part of the Windows Creators update. So Microsoft has stressed that a lot of what it's been doing is functionality for creators, but Microsoft also designs this to be something that you and I can create with. So a lot of the features and functionality are specifically designed for that. So again, it looks the same on the exterior, but if you look here at some of the components that go into it, this is a look inside of this tablet, and a lot of it has been redesigned, Microsoft says. So the Intel Core i5 and Core i7 chips that power the various versions of this line, there's a 13-inch, a fanless 13-inch, there's a 13-inch with a fan, and there's a, the 15-inch much more powerful version. Um, the fan component has been redesigned for the 13-inch. The 15-inch base station has fans in various different places. Uh, everything has been rethought, Microsoft says, in order to make it as efficient as possible. That's a very low-powered chip, but still, if you're using a 15-inch laptop, it's going to draw a lot of heat. And Microsoft's really thought through a lot of that. This 15-inch laptop has a 17-hour battery life. One really neat new part of Windows, if you push the battery icon here, you get this little display and you see uh, a battery slider. Power mode on battery at recommended setting. They say it goes for 17 hours, but you can jack it all the way up for best performance if you want. Battery life's going to suffer, of course. When you turn the power mode all the way up like that, you'd think, well, ordinarily they would turn the fans all the way up and juice everything and you'd hear a lot of fan noise. Microsoft said in the course of performance tuning for this particular product, they found that fans all the way up didn't actually have a measurable effect on, uh, on performance. It, it wasn't actually helpful to have the fans juiced and making that much noise. So they actually limit the fan performance. At the highest speed, the fan isn't going crazy. It's actually going at a reasonable enough speed, which I thought was really nice. Something else I wanted to mention. This motherboard that you see over here, this motherboard that you see here, this is the 13 inch and the 15 inch, these are completely new designs for Microsoft. Uh, everything about them is completely different. The six cell battery design that they have here for the 15 inch, which is necessary for the powerful uh, new CPUs that are in these things, completely new design. Microsoft said every little bit about this has been rethought. The, the connector between the screen itself and the base station has been doubled. The bandwidth between these two has been doubled in order to ensure that the GPU can push enough uh, pixels through to, to keep the processing going. A lot of thought went into this, in spite of the fact that it really looks the same. So again, beautiful looking product. It looks the same, but completely rethought. This goes on sale in early November. We don't even have the exact pricing yet, but the line starts at $1399. I believe that the high-end 15-inch is going to be around uh, $2,400.